Hi everyone, I'm Yolanda. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will be making a summer bag covered with fondant. All the recipes and information on how to make this bag is uploaded in the information window of this video. These are the two cakes that I'm going to be using to make this bag. After I bake these cakes and let them cool, I then place them in the freezer. I froze them maybe for half hour and then I pulled them out of the freezer and they have been sitting at room temperature. Now I'm ready to cut each one of them in half. And as always, I use gloves before cutting my cakes. The first thing that I want to do is using a serrated knife, I am going to mark all around the outside of the cake. I'm going to mark where I want my cakes to be cut. Then I'm going to start pushing the cake against the knife. You do this until the knife has cut through the cake and come out through the other side. Once I finish cutting the cake, I'm going to start filling them with buttercream. To me, the buttercream is the best filling for this type of cake since um, the, the buttercream is not only going to serve as a filling but also as an adhesive to glue all the cakes to each other. Since now the cakes are not going to be laying down but they are going to be standing up. And now I'm going to make the cake flat on one side by cutting just a little bit. Make sure that when you cut, you cut straight down all the way. So that way when you stand up the cake, you want the cake to stand up without uh, moving to one side or the other. You want the cake to stand firm on the surface. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press down all the cakes together so that way they can stick to each other and don't come apart when I stand them up. Also I'm going to fill in all the gaps that I might have left when I was uh, filling the cake. So any gaps that I see around, I'm going to fill with the buttercream. And now I'm going to take the cake, turn it around, and spread some buttercream at the bottom. That way when I put it on the cake board, it's going to stick 
while I work with the cake. Okay, so now I'm ready to give a crumb coat to the cake. A crumb coat is a thin layer of buttercream to seal in all the crumbs. Sometimes when you carve your cake or you cut it, there are lots of crumbs around. You don't want those crumbs to show through when you apply your buttercream or your fondant. So we give it a coat of um, buttercream, a thin layer, and then we are going to freeze it. We are going to freeze the cake for at least 15 to 20 minutes. And then after that, we will bring it back out and give it a final coat of buttercream. Alright, so here is the cake that I just brought out from the freezer. I had it in the freezer for 20 minutes. Now I'm going to give it a final coat of buttercream. Once I finish applying the buttercream, I'm going to put the cake in the fridge for 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'm going to bring it back out, leave it at room temperature, for five minutes and then I will apply the fondant. To figure it out how big you should cut a piece of fondant for your cake, you take the height of the cake, multiply it by two and add it to the width of the cake. That will give you the inches of how big your piece of fondant should be. Mine is going to be 16 inches round. Roll out your fondant to about a quarter of an inch thick. If your fondant is taken to your counter, dust some cornstarch. If it's taken to your fingers, then Use some vegetable shortening. With a pin, Pop any air bubble that you might find inside the fondant. For the trimming of the bag, I'm going to be using a piece of fondant and an extruder. If you don't have an extruder, you can do this by hand by rolling out your fondant very thin to the thickness that you like. For the flap, I used the fondant smoother and I made this pattern. As you can see, it's the same width of the fondant smoother, but I made it a little longer.
so that way my flap could go from the from the back to the front at this point you can decide how you want your flap on your bag do you want it this wide or do you want to make it uh, narrower do you want your handle to hug the flap or you want your handle on top of your flap with a toothpick I'm going to be marking where I'm going to place the flap on the bag Now I'm going to moisten the edges of the bag with either clear water or with edible glue. Then I'm going to adhere the trimmings or the cord on the bag. Be very careful to follow the line. And make sure that the cord is being adhered to the fondant. And now I'm going to cut the flap using the pattern that I previously made. Rolling out some fondant and tracing the pattern over the fondant and cutting it with a fondant cutter. Now I'm going to moisten the flap using very little water just in case I need to readjust it later. And when I'm happy with the placement of the flap, I'm going to glue it with some edible glue or just clear water. To make the handle of the bag, I'm going to use a mix of 50% fondant and 50% gum paste. I'm going to roll it out to a thin tube, depending how thin or how thick I want. And at the end, each end, I'm going to stick a, either a toothpick or a thin dowel rod and this is going to serve as support when you stand up your handle and then you will let it dry overnight or for maybe three to four hours and that's it your handle is ready And we are almost finished making our bag. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to stitch this flap to make it look like the flap is being stitched to the bag. Then I'm going to add also a trimming around the flap and just place the handle on the bag and that will be it. That will be all. This bag will be ready.
here is my finished product with this stitching tool i stitch all around the flap i added a button and i also added trimming around the flap and for a nice touch i added this sunflower made in fondant i also placed the handle on the back notice how i widened the handle and i placed the handle to hug the flap you see that the flap is inside the handle you can make the handle narrower and place it on on top of the flap it's up to you well this has been all for today thank you for watching i hope that you learned something and i hope that you had as much fun as i did i will see you back here again with another tutorial please share and subscribe until then god bless you